the thing here is it's a panel boat, laminated panel boat. We S bend it here. We do the S bending ourselves manually with this with this machine. This is the machine for S bending. Okay. It is a computerized thing here. Oh, yeah. How you all started? When did it start? I mean, when did you start? When did you start getting this idea? Mm. It's all started by chances for me. I mean, uh, humbly, frankly speaking, because I do go for the UPSC exam and all, and then I just could not get through. But still, when I go home in my home, my father was looking after some boys working uh, with wood and all. Okay. Ah. This is a combination machine. Okay. Uh, panel cutting. Panel spin, cutting. Spindle molding. Okay. Uh, it, this comes up and ah. we put the cutter. Okay. And we put uh, just dining chair, carved things and all. Oh. We can do. This is a planner, thickness. Okay. And a combination machine. Uh, some uh, three types of work in one machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, it gives a kind of a better precision in the yeah, assembling, yeah, no? Yeah, uh -huh. it's a Belgian made. Okay. And since uh, because of the European made, I don't know. The precision is very good. Very good. Yeah. No, I mean they they love they do to, it very you know, seriously. Yeah, I think yeah. make a lot of things mm. as perfect as possible. Yeah. Huh? Mm. And it's very helpful also. The work it can do. Uh -huh. I'm calculating it is four times the work of four times. I think. Oh. Mm. I mean. It cuts. See, yeah. this is the cut. Ah. Okay, we don't need to plane it mm -hmm. that much. Okay, we ah. can just send it also. Oh. Means it's saving so time. It no? it, yeah, it reduces uh, the wastage of time yes. and at the same time accurate. Yeah, Isn't yeah, it? accurate. Ah. Ah. We get 90 degree. Yeah. I mean, just on, just putting on this and cutting it, we mm -hmm. just get 90 degree. Oh. Okay. Where do you get all the these woods from? This it's locally, are uh, yeah, locally local stores. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. mostly. What these are uh, these are block boats. Block boats. Block boat is wooden sandwich by two plywood. Okay. Oh, uh, so that it has stability. It comes in ready-made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, in any ply factory we have, oh, and we have MDF, we have say, 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 we have HDM, HMR. I mean, water resistant, very hard. Okay, then those are most of the three boats we use: block boat, HDMR, MDF. Yeah. What kind of machine is this? This is a cold press. Cold press. Cold press okay. means uh, we put laminates on the MDF. Laminates on the MDF and yeah. put it under it, and then with a 120 ton pressure, we can give. Oh, so like it can stick. Yeah, perfectly. with the glue, glue with the glue. Okay. Uh, it will, it will press it for five hours. Five hours. And wow. we can stick a lot of, I mean, maybe 20, 25 okay. plywood at a time. So these are some of the samples? Yeah, yeah, some of the samples. Mm -hmm. uh, 
120 ton means it has a big pressure okay. so that we can press some 25 30 piece at one time uh -huh. but actually we don't need 120 ton okay oh, wow. okay we, we, we need 60 like, ton yeah basically it gives you the capacity capacity you don't yeah, have to really yeah. go to that level huh? yeah. say 60 50 60 70 right. level huh? right i still remember uh, i was uh, i mean i i mean i still is i was uh, customer of such work right and like some of the uh, these chairs and tables dining tables and beds such work makes one of the best uh, uh, chairs tables and even beds and various other furniture including for passage this is one of the best uh, in my tour and it's really nice and uh, The thing here is, it's a panel board, laminated panel board. We s bend it here. We do the s bending ourselves manually with this with this machine. This is the machine for s bending. Okay. It is a computerized thing here. Mm -hmm. It tells us uh, the length of the glue, where the glue can do it, mm -hmm. the length. Mm -hmm. If you do it, it will diminish. I mean, okay. because you are using up the glue. Mm -hmm. So it's a fast tool. First tool brain. We have uh, a trimmer here. Trimmer is they put it inside. Okay. Trimmer here and scraper. Mm. And uh, this is the thing for S bending. Oh. We can do the contorting also. Oh, so I mean like you can do this way or you uh, can do yeah, this yeah. Way. Even oh, this really? also. Uh -huh. This is a PVC. Uh -huh. Though it's a PVC, a good quality PVC. Mm. So it can come. It can go like this. These are the S bend. Oh. Mm -hmm. I must come for one of these carpentry uh, you know, training from you. Okay, okay. <laughs> after, <laughs> after you, you pens on me. Yeah. <laughs> really? I mean, you know... Uh, you are very interesting. Uh, 
when I was in school, you know, we used to have carpentry class. Okay. I used yeah. to be very fascinated and interested. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I mean, that was just a part of a school curriculum. Yeah. But after seeing yours, you know, like, I'm really impressed and yeah. I have great interest. Perhaps what you say is correct. Maybe someday, like, yeah. I mean, you are never too old for anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, I mean, yeah. last two years, yeah. maybe I should sit in the house and do design, but then. Yeah. My passion is here only. Yeah. I just come down here. I just left the computer. Absolutely. I just come down yeah. like, I mean, I find it very interesting. Okay. So this is Dutchworth Industries, it's located just next to Herbert School along the airport road. And these are the things that are, you know, like uh, produced from this uh, factory. It's one of the best in Manipur. And whatever, whatever, you know, uh, furnitures that you want, it's all made here. You can even customize it. And the owner and the, the proprietor is Golin Lal. He is a very dynamic person, very enterprising person, and it's really encouraging, inspiring to see his, uh, you know, his products over here. Hello, Lal. Uh, it's it's really nice of you to spare some time, and perhaps uh, one of the reasons why I've come here is also, uh, you know, the fact that you have worked very hard uh, for the past. 10, 20, maybe I think it's more than 20 years, yes, yeah. and you have come a long way. Uh, the usual thing, in fact, I mean, we know each other since college days, in university days, and uh, the convention that we all, uh, you know, like uh, think of is right after college, you appear for civil service, whether it's UPSC or MPSC, or look for some government jobs, but you. You dropped all those ideas mm. and came up with this running, uh, you know, uh, this uh, a furniture shop. Okay, now it's industry, but those days it was a, a, a furniture shop. Basically, you uh, want to be an entrepreneur with uh, in, in the private sector and yet establish yourself. Mm. There must have been a lot of challenges. Yeah. Can you just highlight us how, yeah. how you all started? When did it start? I mean, when did you start? When did you start getting this idea? Mm. It's, uh, 
it's all started by chances for me. I mean, uh, humbly, frankly speaking, because uh, I do go for the UPSC exam and all, and then I just uh, could not get through. But st still, when I go home in my house, in my home, my father was looking after some boys working uh, with wood and all. So I was just, since my father is getting old, I was just helping them and uh, getting involved slowly, slowly. And I just came to know that uh, slowly that, uh, I mean, this design making thing, uh, the making up new things, I mean, experiencing new things. You know. So I've, I'm okay with it. So I just get along, I mean, get along and then slowly started it. And I come down to Imphal mm -hmm. on uh, the year 1997, I think. Okay. So there uh, there's a lot of people supporting me, uh, coming and buying my new things. I mean, it's just <laughs> it, that also, it's, it's a fun, I mean, we are always fun, fun crunch like that in, in ah, the start, yes, because, that. yeah, so. The beginning is always the tough. Yeah, place. yeah, tough. So we st started slowly, slowly, mm. and when we come deeper into the, the furniture making thing, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm still, I mean, my passion is uh, always on that side more and more, so to say, because uh, till now I just keep on, I mean, finding new ways how to do things more quickly mm -hmm. in the same time, at the, at the same period, and just organizing, minute, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, did you ever uh, undergo a kind of uh, training in carpentry or in furniture related uh, workshop or some kind of this thing? I mean, did you ever? No, I didn't, I didn't, but okay. uh, mm, I have a lot of help from uh, these good, good carpenters because mm -hmm. my setup earlier was with the help of a good carpenters, mm -hmm. I managed them. Oh, wow. Wow. But sec now what we do is mm -hmm. we design and draw the thing and give the dimension and the carpenters follows us now. Okay. So, so uh, you come up with ideas, you ideas come up with like uh, yeah. the better designs. Yeah, how to construct yeah, it, how, to construct. how it will be more, I mean, stronger, the chair will be oh, stronger, like, no, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. So most carpentry workshops in our northeast sides, or may I say especially Manipur, mm. they will be on a contract basis thing. Okay. Earlier we, were, we are also in a contract basis thing, but mm -hmm. I don't want the idea because you know, contract basis thing, we don't have much voice. The, yeah. the proprietor yeah. don't have much voice. They keep coming, uh, keep leaving also. Leaving also. Yeah. So I change it to salary. Oh. They are all on salary. Mm -hmm. So they work as a, I mean, they come at nine, work till five. Mm -hmm. If they want overtime pay mm -hmm. from five to seven or eight, they can work also. Oh, okay. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, like, uh, you know, the furniture thing in Manipur is very, very competitive. Yeah. There are many mm. other good, good furniture stores, furniture industries. Even from outside. Even from outside also. Some mm. are, you know, brought from outside and sold here. I mean, how do you manage to uh, stay afloat rather? I mean, how do you manage mm. to survive in this very competitive environment? Mm. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess the feedback will one be of my friend told me. So one of my friend told me. Yeah. Ah, lal, he, lal, there's one secret. Okay. Uh, in lal finishing, uh -huh. what I what I told him is, mm. the secret is I have no secret. <laughs> 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 the thing is, huh? personally, when we keep on working and uh, we think we don't think about the money. Okay. I mean, we have to think about the money. That's for sure. But then. Yeah. First, if the priority is the quality of the thing, okay. then it involves us and it, we can work and work and mm. something pops up, no? Yeah. The good one, better one pops up and then uh, I, when I come to see some result, yeah. I say, oh, this is uh, more profitable, I say, mm. no, that's in that way. I think that is very, very correct. In fact, mm. because you're very passionate about mm. the, the products that you sold here, so you also constantly supervise, monitor, mm -hmm. and try to ensure that you know quality as well as uh, you know um, finishing everything is maintained, yeah. and that itself 
is reflected in the satisfaction of the customers. Right, right. right. Oh, that's great because, I mean, I am also one of your customers. If I used to be a regular customer, when yeah. I was a posted left, right, here and there during yeah. my SP days, mm-hmm. occasionally I used to order even a bed that can be, you know, uh, easily uh, transported. Yeah, yeah. Knock down and knock down yeah, and pack. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> It can be again, you know, yeah. assembled. So I was very impressed those days. Also. Even the, the the dining table that I ordered from you, still there, you still make use of it. So the finishing touch, the design, uh, were of at least from my side, it was of my liking. Mm-hmm. And, and that's why occasionally, even some friends from outside also, I mean, whenever they look for certain furnitures, I always recommend you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember That's that nice. Yeah. Officer, yes, uh, yes, yes. I <laughs> still was very remember. Happy also. Mm. <coughs> Apart from this, um, uh, like how many employees do you have now? Uh, my employees, including the office staff, mm-hmm. total, I say, yeah. I would say, he's like we are somewhere twenty nine. Okay, I 29. think right now. Ah. So you have mm-hmm. the office staff and the others who are uh, in the factory? Wooden, uh, I mean in the factory side, uh-huh. in even in the cushioning side. Okay. Uh, mm. And we have the drivers, uh-huh. the, the delivery guys. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think that's also very important. Mm-hmm. Huh? And the other, I think, uh, important thing is uh, even after delivery, if there's any complaint from customers, you promptly attend to that. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, that also makes a lot of difference. Yeah, mm-hmm. I make it a point to mm-hmm. to attend that thing first because yeah. uh, most of my customers, they are very good people, they are very decent, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, and they are paying a lot of money for their furniture also. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. nowadays, I mean, maybe not earlier, mm-hmm. but nowadays I, fi- I make it very a very important thing to attend to their any some little even little complaints mm-hmm. they just get and pick up the thing and make mm-hmm. it right here and give it again so in in your opinion i mean like uh, what what kind of message do you want to give to the young generations because uh, we find that uh, so many people are wanting so many things at one time and yet unable to concentrate on what they want. Mm-hmm. Some want it loud, some want it quiet, mm-hmm. some want uh, government jobs. But in your opinion, uh, what is the best way to succeed in an environment like this? Mm-hmm. I mean, you are a very fine example. And so what kind of, uh, you know, like uh, inspiring words do you want to, mm-hmm. uh, you know, like tell people yeah, uh, from my experience, I'm uh, finding, I'm, I'm seeing this. I mean, uh, it's hard work, number one. Hard work. But then to have patience also, mm-hmm. and I advise mm-hmm. my younger brothers and sisters, so to say, mm-hmm. uh, in any work, mm-hmm. there, there's respect. I mean, if you work it yeah. with integrity, with passion, yeah. there's always respect. So, uh, whenever uh, in any any profession, so to say, so even a plumber, a tiling, True. masonry, mm. if you do it very nicely, and if you go for the best thing, the best way of doing it, mm-hmm. success is. I mean, it will mm-hmm. be promised. I think. Okay, success is yeah. guaranteed. And uh-huh. last but not the least, mm. if any boys mm. wanted to train here. Mm-hmm. I'll train him, wow. let him work also, and I'll pay him also. Because only passionate boys, I mean, who really want the thing. Mm-hmm. No. So mm-hmm. are you, are you uh, having some trainees right now? Trainees, yeah, uh, the way we train people is there. Uh-huh. They come, uh-huh. we have an interview, okay. uh, just uh, 10 minutes, mm-hmm. and then they work it, they help us. Okay. I mean, uh, putting the thing there, organizing the thing there. Okay and cleaning the thing there and slowly mm. if he is yeah, i mean if he has the mindset to work right, here right. so we keep we start training okay. them like so handling some the small small machines is, yeah the first few days or weeks is like a approbation yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> right 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 <laughs> uh, that's yeah. great i mean mm. uh, really i mean whenever i see your in uh, you know factory here uh, uh, sometimes i also think 
I wish I just could, uh, you know, like come and learn something here. <laughs> so now that you have mentioned, yeah. perhaps someday whenever I am free or mm. uh, you know when I am on leave or something like that, maybe I'll just come and learn something yeah. from yeah, <laughs> the woodworking uh, you know factory. It's uh, really impressive. Yeah, I've seen that. I mean, you have also ordered some of the machineries from outside. I mean, how difficult it is to get these machineries from outside the country, or is it from India? Uh, yeah, yeah. Machines? Uh, in India, there's a, I mean, there's a, a go-between for the machines okay. and all, the machine agency, dealer agency, uh, yeah. That is mostly in Mun Mumbai, the station in Mumbai. Okay. But then, some when they have the stock, uh, it's very easy to acquire it. But when they ha don't have the stock, it takes three months, oh, six months okay. also. We wait for six months also. Mm -hmm. So that really helps. Right? I mean, yeah, these yeah. machines, um, I mean, with coming of age of the, you know, this improvement in technology, earlier it used to be basically with this basic carpentry tools that yeah. one works on it. Today, there are machines which make things a lot easier, faster, mm. and perhaps even better yeah. in terms of the finishing touch. Yeah. So that really helps, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Most, uh, those are precision machine. Mm -hmm. and anyone just come and learn yeah. some suppose a dovetail join okay. would it would joining like this you know mm. dovetail join mm. if i teach someone mm. how to handle this within half an hour oh. you can make it because the machine has already everything there okay. <laughs> just like the one that you showed yeah that, that s bend thing yeah uh, that machine itself has a, a chip i mean computerized one wherein like you just have to, you know, press the, yeah. thread, the press, set the temperature, the, the temperature, yeah, and then low, you know, everything is yeah. like set. <laughs> the only manual thing is just pull it on the direction, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great. Well, these are the uh, the samples, right? Yes, yes. This is uh, kind of uh, is it is this king size? Yeah, mostly king size. Okay. We made mostly king size. Oh. Mm -hmm. Even the mattress you provide? I provide, but the mattress is from, uh, from another brand, a brand King Coil. Okay. It's a US brand. Mm -hmm. Good one. Oh. I trusted it now, that's why I, I keep. Mm. Sometimes, I mean, customers may be actually wanting a customized one. Yeah, so yeah. Even for that, you cater to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we do. But we have limits. I mean, yeah. it's a uh, flowery, this thing and all we cannot do. Oh, oh. We have a minimal I'm design. Basically, I'm saying uh, yeah, yeah. it's slightly bigger, yeah, yeah. slightly longer. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> because some people are tall. Right? Yeah, so they may be right. having a, uh, mm. you know, uh, length issues and all that. Yeah. Mm. This are the, you know, this is the showroom. In fact, uh, Lal has really made a, a very nice showroom here. Yeah? And this is not their bed, this is just a sample of the bed. Very sturdy, yeah. Very nice. Mm. Can can buy anytime. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For sure. <laughs>